When the grass turns green and the temperatures warm, the golf courses spring to life. But along with the tees and the clubs, often comes the danger of a deadly strike. Harry Hurley is a golf professional who teaches golfers. Our posture, grip, and your swing plane. However, there's more to golf than just a great swing. You also have to know how to be safe on the course. The National Weather Service says 58 people die each year from lightning strikes. And according to the United States Golf Association, 5% of those are on golf courses. So why is a golf course so dangerous during a thunderstorm? Experts say it's because of the open course with few trees, making you the tallest thing on the green. You might be in the middle of an open plain area where you're the only thing with a metal rod in your hand sticking it up with lightning around there. And scientists say the average charge of a lightning bolt is about 30,000 amps and 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. While most sports will allow the game to stop and continue once the storm has passed, the National Lightning Safety Institute says golf is the only sport that will penalize a player for continuing the game once lightning is detected. The United States Golf Association rules even say a player can be disqualified for a play and after the game is stopped for lightning. Most of the professional golfers worry a lot about lightning. I used to play a lot out in uh, Denver area where lightning storms come, come up in 10 to 15 minutes notice. And everybody says if there's a lightning shelter, go there right away. If not, go in. Professional golfer Lee Trevino was struck by lightning in 1975 and is one of the few golfers who lived to tell. A good rule of thumb is to remember that if you can hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. But some people like to use what's called the flash to bang method. So if you can count five seconds between a flash of lightning and a clap of thunder, that storm's roughly a mile away. 10 seconds, the storm's roughly two miles away. 15 seconds, three miles, 20 seconds, four miles, and 30 seconds, six miles away. Even six miles is too close for comfort. Most lightning experts believe that lightning can strike more than 10 miles from a thunderstorm, even when there are clear blue skies above you. If you hear thunder, that means lightning is somewhere close by. Don't try to figure where it is. Don't try to figure what area it's coming from. Just go in right away. Once you're inside, don't go back out until 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder. And that's the case for any outdoor activities. If it looks like it's going to be clear for the next two hours, because it takes two hours to make a loop for nine holes, to help you determine whether it is safe to hit the links, Weatherbug has its own lightning detection and horn system stationed at golf courses and schools, so you don't even have to go outside to see if the storm is near. Before you tee up, check the weather, and if you're already on the golf course, look up and listen. Your eyes and your ears can be the best way to keep you out of harm's way. For Weatherbug, I'm meteorologist Bay Scroggins.